हेलो चिल्ड्रेन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी क्लास एट हिस्ट्री लेसन वन मॉडर्न इंडिया चिल्ड्रेन टेल मी यू सेलिब्रेट योर बर्थडे एवरी ईयर येस ऑन एनी ऑफ द डेट नो ऑन अ पर्टिकुलर मंथ एंड इन अ पर्टिकुलर डे वेरी गुड सो यू सेलिब्रेट योर पेरेंट्स वेडिंग एनिवर्सरी ऑल्सो ऑन द पर्टिकुलर मंथ एंड ऑन पर्टिकुलर डेट that means dates are very important in our life they tell us about the event that has happened in the past yes so today we are going to study the modern india of history lesson 1 dates are very important in history because they indicate an events position in relation to the other events and help us to understand the trends of developments within a time of frame historians have divided history into the broad periods on the basis of the different characteristics and this is called periodization james mill wrote the indian history of india covering all the periods divided indian history into the three broad periods that is the hindu the muslim the british or the christian period on the basis of the religion of the rulers after the independence the indian historians divided history into the ancient medieval and modern period on the basis of important political economical social and cultural changes so we have seen how the indian historians have divided the history into the three broad periods ancient medieval and modern period in class 8 you are studying modern history in class 6 you have studied ancient history in class 7 you have studied medieval history and now in class 8 you will know about the modern period of the history that began on the mid 18th century the modern period began in europe around the 15th century and it came to be characterized by industrialization and urbanization and democratic ideas and political system in india began around mid 18th century that i have told you further that means in india the modern period began from mid 18th century and in europe it began around 15th century so remember this thing when did the modern period begin in europe and when did the modern period begin in india let's know about colonization colonization means economic and political subjugation of a region by a foreign country and the region that is colonized is called as colony a modernization began in europe some european countries began to colonize the world india became the british colony in 18th century The history of the modern period is derived from the primary sources such as archaeological remains books articles newspaper photographs video tapes and original official document and the secondary sources such as reports review books etc based on the primary sources Around 1871 the British completed their first survey of India thereafter such surveys were carried after 10 years the reports of this survey provide information on the size of the distribution of the population the nature in the term of sex age occupation caste religion race etc All the sources mentioned above are today of great value to the historians. So in this chapter we have studied about the modern India. When was the period of modern India begin? Who wrote the Indian history for the first time? 
and what is colonization